Hey, hello there, uh, welcome in. You have all already heard about the Firefox debacle all over the internet and everyone is kind of raving about it and I went ahead and kind of read the same thing uh, that everyone else has apparently read uh, and I did it live on stream uh, today so you can check that out as well uh, and the whole conversation with everyone in my chat. Uh, but what I found peculiar here is uh, here, right? Uh, so Mozilla gives you certain rights and permission, right? Mozilla grants you a personal non-exclusive license to install and use the executable code version of the Firefox web browser, which is the ready-to-run version of Firefox from an authorized source that you can open and use right away. Firefox is open source software. We make the source code for Firefox available to you under the terms of various open source licenses, including the Mozilla public license. This means you may use, copy, modify and distribute Firefox to others as long as you follow the open source license and the Mozilla trademark guidelines. These terms only apply to the executable code version of Firefox, not the Firefox source code. In order to play certain types of video, Firefox may download content decryption models from third parties which may not be open source and then you give Mozilla certain rights and permissions. You give Mozilla the rights necessary to operate Firefox. This includes processing your data as we described in the Firefox uh, privacy notice. It also includes a non-exclusive royalty-free worldwide license for the purpose of doing as you request uh, with the content you input in Firefox. This does not give you Mozilla any ownership in that content. So first of all, each time that I read this document, it always changes. So that's kind of bizarre, but understandable from the uh, viewpoint of everything that has been going on. Uh, so right now uh, it is one o'clock uh, in the night, uh, crossing to the Saturday here in Europe. Uh, and I have started my live stream roughly four hours ago. And we have been through this exact same document four hours ago. And you can go ahead and check my uh, live uh, stream video on demand and you can see that this wording was completely different just four hours ago uh, and I don't, I don't even want to know what was like yesterday when uh, Brody Robertson um, read this I, I suppose it was the third version of something but it keep it seems to be keep uh, changing right but what I am um, doing this video about is not the part where you give them your um, uh, permission to do whatever they want with your data, but something else, right? Uh, permissions. Mozilla grants you a personal non-exclusive license to install and use the binary version of Firefox uh, from an authorized source that you can open and use right away. So you're getting a license to use the Firefox binary. This is something that other people have apparently missed. Uh, Firefox is open source software. We make the source code of Firefox available to you under the terms of various open source licenses, including the Mozilla public licenses. Uh, this means you may use, copy, modify and distribute Firefox, uh, so free software, right? To others, as long as you follow the open source licenses, which is pretty standard thing to do and the Mozilla trademark, uh, which is not that relevant uh, for this discussion because this is about their logos and uh, names. Uh, and these terms, look at this, these terms only apply to the binary version of Firefox, not the Firefox source code. So what do you think about this paragraph here? So is, it, is this all completely invalid? Uh, the entire the the entire drama on the internet is it entirely invalid if I download Firefox source code and compile it myself? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, if you have your own opinion on this, please reply into the comments, and I wish to read about it. Thank you very much, and I'm going to see you in the next video.